вот стою, жду менеджера, с которым договорились показать компанию экспортную, автомобильную. Многим людям это может быть интересно. Меня недавно спрашивали найти такую компанию. Я не ожидал, что у меня столько времени на это уйдет. Времени заняло уйму. Ну, наш, нашел такую, которая все в комплексе делает компания. Hello, Hello Sam. Sam. <laughs> How nice are you doing? doing? Good, thanks for yourself. Okay, nice to meet you. Good. Let's get in. Thank you. <laughs> Look like so that. nice. Filming. Hello. So, so a lot of space in this bus. Yeah, it's everything. So Looks so luxury. Yeah. LED lines, letters. Even you got a, a clock here. And temperature. You can control temperature at yeah. the back. Yeah. That's the air condition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the seat. Adjust okay. the seat, adjustment for the seat. That's the fan. Mm -hmm. You see everything. That's this is Ziga Zero Nine. You know, recently I've been in Tesla, and this one is looks so rich compared to Tesla. I mean, inside all these materials, this car is Chinese, but still the quality looks so nice. I mean, of materials inside. The interior and everything looks so rich, not cheap at all. I feel like king in this car. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to your office, right? Yeah, we're and heading to the office. You'll show us all around? Oh, uh, yeah. Because I want to show people that your company also have showrooms. Yeah, let's go. So we are close to already? Yeah, we're already there. Mm-hmm. So, diamond coating. This sign looks like Sennheiser brand, you know, this sound company. <laughs> Look very similar. Here we are. Here we go. Okay. Вот мы и на месте. Приехали. Да, автобус комфортный такой, большой, место столько. Приятный очень. So, Sison, can you please show me around? Yeah, oh, come on. Thank please you. come in. Yeah, this is the showroom for our like parts of cars. It's almost all the MPV, small bus. We got Porsche 911, and we got a Toyota Crown, mm. Wellfire. Yeah, and we have my bag. Yeah, that's my bag. Yeah, and people love luxury cars and the big cars in China. Yeah, yeah. So here, all expensive cars mostly. Yeah, for this showroom, we have five salesmen office over there mm -hmm. for domestic market okay ah yeah. here is office for domestic market yeah that's the general manager of the salesman for domestic market okay local market yeah and that's our salesman there hello <laughs> they're doing this job busy. hello 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 guys hello. hi hi, hi. hi <laughs> no thank you <laughs> thank you thank you later next time huh. Yeah, and we got all those selections for the views as well. So every single MPV you bought from us, you can modify it. Mm -hmm. So you can export that after modification. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got yeah, selections. Okay. Yeah, that's this is the showroom for us. This Crown bus so nice, so beautiful. In our country, people love this car. I mean, Crown cars. Oh, and this yeah. is bus. Get one then. <laughs> First time I see this. <laughs> it's really luxury. Yeah, so luxury inside. And here you have some lights. Yeah, LED lights. Yeah. So and there's a small TV here. So once you start the car, the TV comes up. Mm -hmm. And this is hybrid car. It's not uh, or electric car. It's a hybrid. Hybrid. Yeah, okay. 2.5 liter hybrid. 2.5. Yeah. Okay, let's go upstairs. Okay, let's go. So nice. Yeah, and and this is our the uh, washroom. Well, so washroom. every single cars we're gonna like wash every single week to keep it tidy. Okay. Yeah. Then once before we sell the car out, we wash it cleanly as well. Okay. Yeah. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, 
to the left, we have a small meeting room because it's on Saturday, so most of people are on weekend. And that's the room for our live streaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, live streaming room. Yeah, please come in. They start working in the afternoon okay. until night. Yeah, that's live streaming. Okay. Looks so nice. Okay, please come in. Yeah, this is our another meeting rooms meeting for rooms. the guests. Yeah. Okay. So if you like drink teas, just pour over. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is Hello. our exporting office. We got like almost seven salesmen here, and everyone is like going out for their clients. So we got two colleagues here. Okay. Yeah, this way, please. And this is our HR office. HR office. Okay. Hello. Hi. Yeah, and this is our luxury car purchase department. Hello. Hello. And we came on Saturday. Everyone is working on Saturday. <laughs> yes, we was on weekend as well. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, that's our boss, Joanna. Um, okay. She's doing Chinese now. Maybe they're busy. Yeah. And this is our purchase department. Normally okay. we have like 20 people's work on the, during the week, weekdays. Okay. Yeah. So most of them like taking the leave or going out for resourcing. Okay. Yeah. And this is our finance department. Okay. And doing all the payments and documents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jason, I prepared some questions for you and in which room we can have an interview now. Okay, let's go to the meeting room then. This okay. way, please. So, would you like tea or coffee? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, coffee, please. Uh, so, here, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call you some coffee. So nice. There you go. And here I can see some tea or something. What is it? Yeah, tea. Tea. Tea for clients or is just for beauty stuff? For clients as well. Can drink yeah. right to this? Yeah, of course. I'm not a big fan of it, but it looks so... Chinese love teas. So nice. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Hello, guys. So nice to meet you, finally. Uh, we can meet up and I want to ask your names, of course. What's your names? Yeah, my name is Stephen Chen and this is my colleague. My name is Mila. Okay, nice to meet you. Mila, can you please introduce your company in a few words? Like what your company is doing and how it can be useful for foreign cl clients in Russian language. Can yeah. you tell us this? So do you want me to introduce my company in Russia or English? Uh, in English first, right? That's okay. Yeah, of course. You can say in English first and then Mila can say in Russian. Okay. Firstly, thank you for coming to taking an interview for us. So I get a chance to introduce our company to worldwide, maybe in Russia as well. Yeah, the company that we are in now is called iCutter. Mm -hmm. It's been fun in, it was fun in 2007. When we start the business, we're doing the car selling, trading, and resourcing business for almost 15 years. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we found out that the exporting business is going to be like growing in the growth market. Then we start our exporting business in 2021. Mm -hmm. So we've been doing that for two years already. So in the first year, we've been sold out about thousands cars. So until now, we, we can do around like 3,000 cars a year, mm -hmm. in probably in 2023, like I mean this year. Mm -hmm. So now you can see we export cars worldwide. We have clients in Russia, in uh, Kyrgyzstan, Azerbaijan, Egypt, even the South Europe as well. Mm -hmm. So we probably the expect of exporting cars in China. Okay, nice to hear that. Now, Mila, can you please tell the same for Russian clients? Just uh, sure. Just, okay. 
Очень рада познакомиться с вами. И мы являемся компанией по экспорту электромобилей и машин в Китае. И мы можем помочь вам выбрать любые машины и тоже любые конфигурации, любые цвета. И у нас есть все марка. Например, Chili, Chili Manjaro, и Tesla, и Ion, и Tic. И наша компания есть четыре филиали, и мы уже делали экспорт около два года, потому что мы основаны в 2007 году, и мы сейчас уже большая компания. Окей, okay, I have some more questions for you. Can I ask you? Thank you. Uh, the price for cars and the delivery days is the price negotiable? How? And the main question is, uh, what's the delivery fee to Bishkek? Okay. Um, for the first one, the price of the vehicles, it's gonna be same as all the price that in dealer shop. Because we own four dealer shop, which is authorized by Jatu BYD, like in Canton. Then, once we get we get the cars directly from the factory, we so when you put the order to me, then I send the order to the factory. The factory will like uh -huh. <coughs> once they finish producing the car, they will send it to our authorized store. Mm -hmm. Then from we get the car directly from the authorized store. So you won't get the car from the trading company. Mm -hmm. So we have a competitive price between the trading company and the dealer store. Okay. Yeah, then um, once we get the car ready, we will send it to, for example, if our market is in Russia, we will send it to the Bishkek. Like for the factory producing the car, it might take two weeks. So once you put the order to the factory, it takes two weeks to produce one car because every single car has different options. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's gonna take two weeks to produce the car. Then once we get the car, we will transport it into the August port in Xinjiang. Mm -hmm. And then during the transportation hours, we take the documents to certify as an exporting documents. So we get all the documentation ready for the cars. So the cars can be delivery directly from the August port to the beach cat. And that gonna take around like a week to two weeks. Mm -hmm. But that depends on the weather. Mm -hmm. If it's like snowing or like natural hazards, it gonna take to be longer to be honest. Because the truck is not able to drive on the like, icing road. It's gonna be like uh, warming up. Then the truck, the transportation gonna be directly to beach cat. Yeah. So the delivery time will be depends on the weather. Okay, this uh, of course can happen. I understand about what you said. Uh, so prices are different from similar companies, right? Uh, yeah, it will be a little bit different, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be similar. Mm -hmm. But we can get the car directly from the factory, mm -hmm. then to the authorized store. So there won't be a price difference between you, between a purchaser mm -hmm. and the seller. Okay. Uh, how many selling centers do you have in China? I mean, before you told me you have many of them or something. Yeah, we, as I mentioned that we have four authorized stores in Canton, like in Guangdong. Yeah, uh, we have two in Foshan, one in Jiamen, the other one in Kaiping. Oh. Yeah, we, we also have another three second-hand stores to sell the luxury cars because we start with like car resourcing. We sell the Porsche, uh, Rolls, Alpha, and Mercedes. Mm -hmm. like all those like luxury MPVs, luxury sedans, everything. Yeah, okay, I can hear you. Uh, so how many cars have you already sent to Bishkek? Uh, you already told me, right? Or not? Yeah, I've, as I mentioned before, that we almost, we, c we can send a car like thousands to Bishka a year. Mm -hmm. But from the day we start exporting mm -hmm. until now, I think that's almost around 4,000 something. Oh, 4,000. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
and we send the car worldwide, not only to Bishkek. <laughs> yeah, of course, I know. So why need to send cars to Bishkek and just can't just directly send them to Russia, for example, for Russian clients? Why first need to send them to Bishkek? And all people I know doing like that now. Yeah, of course we would like to send the car directly to the Moscow to Russia, mm -hmm. but the custom and the taxation is going to be different if we send it to the Russia or send it to the Kyrgyzstan, mm -hmm. to the Bishkek. Mm -hmm. So. That's why we like choose to send the car to Bishkek, then from Bishkek to the Moscow, because the taxation between the custom and clearance tax is gonna be different in Bishkek. It's probably cheaper than we send the car directly to Russia. Okay, uh, may I ask one more question? Uh, what is minimum orders quantity for cars? How many I can order? Uh, well, the price is going to be different if you order like more than 6 or 18. Mm -hmm. Or if you order one car, the price is going to be a little bit like... Uh, it, yeah, a little bit expensive. Mm -hmm. Like then you order tons of cars. Mm -hmm. So for example, you order 10 cars in once. Mm -hmm. We can like hire one truck. One truck to deliver 10 cars at once. Mm -hmm. So the transportation fee it's going to be cheaper than you mm -hmm. take order of one car. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, there's no minimum orders. So okay. feel free to order any cars you want. But it's better that you can order like tons of cars in once. The price is going to be a little bit different for you. It's nice you can do that. And is there any certification center in Bishkek? Or how to deal with customs or something? Can you prepare some documents for customs and this stuff? Yes, yeah, so every car we send out, we will have a like, exporting certification with the cars. Mm -hmm. So every single car will be uh, certified and have a permit mm -hmm. to export to Bishkek. So when the car arrives Bishkek, you only need to like, provide the documents we had with the car to the clearance, then you can get the cars out with the agents over there. Uh, so how to send the cars from Bishkek to Russia, for example? Uh, need to pay for customs again or not? Yeah, as I mentioned, yes, you do have to pay the custom again. But it's much cheaper than we send the car directly from China to ah. Moscow. So yeah. that's why all doing like this first send to Bishkek now and then? then and okay. then to Russia. Now I see the main reason of it, okay. Yeah, because the price of the tax is gonna be different. Okay. Uh, so delivery time, you already told me. It depends on weather, on many terms. Yeah, it depends on the weather. So okay. normally, when you take order, uh, when we take order from you, it takes mm -hmm. around, within a month, the car will be in Bishkek. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it takes time for the factory to produce the car, mm -hmm. takes time for the documentation, mm -hmm. and takes time to for the delivery time. Okay, I see. Uh, so what can you do for regular clients? I mean, for example, I'm a client and I'm asking you for help. I want to buy a car or I want to buy a, a, buy a lot of cars and what can you do for me? How the process is going from the beginning? Uh, maybe these questions, can I please ask Mila to introduce to our clients? Yeah, of course. Okay. In Russian language. Okay. Thank you. Конечно. Сначала клиенте нужно сказать, какие машины они хотят, какие конфигурации, какие цветы. А потом мы сказали эти машины, какая цена. А потом, если они хотят купить, мы сначала отправляем договор им. И они нужно подписывать это договор. А потом наш завод сначала производит эти машины. А потом отправляем эти машины э, до наш, наш филиале. И мы, и мы все эти машины отправляем до клиента. И mm -hmm. срок доставки обычно один месяц. Mm -hmm. Спасибо за ценную информацию. А, я просто оставлю в комментариях контакты. Если кому-то будет интересно связаться с этой компанией, то они могут обратиться ко мне, и я людям... Ну, помогу с вами связаться, если кому-то действительно что-то будет нужно. 
И там, если какие-то еще возникнут вопросы, то я могу также вас спрашивать. Да, либо конечно, же к можно. Вам нужно обращаться, правильно? Я да. Спасибо. Окей, okay, Сисон, I just said, uh, of course, can have some more questions, and if someone is really will be interested in cooperation with your company, I just can follow, I just can uh, leave some my contacts uh, in description, and people can send me a message, and I can help them to contact with your company, and I hope uh, people now can find your company because I spend so many time to find this kind of company which can do everything for clients, not only selling cars, but delivery and everything. So, because usually, you know, in China, they have two kinds of companies, trading companies and export companies. Usually they are not the same. Because I asked many companies, for example, I buy a car now, can you send it abroad? Many people told me no. But your company can do everything and help to people, so that's why I want to share with others. And I hope people can find you uh, through this video, and maybe you'll have some clients, hope so. <laughs> yeah. Some more clients. Yeah, th that's good then, because we would like to provide a fully service to the clients. So we wish that clients can get the cars like easily you don't need to take so much time to looking for like different company to work together. So you don't have to talk to like, for example, a licensing company or uh, for the exporting documents company, then the transportation company, mm -hmm. or even the trading company, even the factory. Mm -hmm. You don't have to contact five companies, you can mm -hmm. just find us, like through you. Mm -hmm. You'll be like representative for us to your clients yeah. to tell them like what we're gonna do what can we provide to them? Mm -hmm. So we're happy to like work along with you and we we'll provide everything that you need. Okay, thank you. Because I know why we are recording this video now. Many people, they don't know what to, how to start with this car. For example, even private clients, they don't know what to do and they find it for agents who, who do everything by themselves and they charge more money. Mm -hmm. But your company is big and for even for private clients, I think maybe it's a good option to cooperate with you. So. Yeah, we can like yeah. we can sell the car through you to the private clients as well. Yeah. Even the dealer shop or the showroom, mm -hmm. we have to do that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for everything. And if people have some more questions, please uh, feel free to contact with us with this company. So thank you everyone for attention, yeah. and thank you for answering my questions. Yeah. So, so thank us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming up because this is, thank you for giving us a chance to show like what our company need to do. Yeah. And we got a head office in Forza, mm -hmm. so you can see we are not the team to sell the cars, mm -hmm. we are a company to sell the cars. We have a mm -hmm. office, we have showrooms, yeah. so we are really reliable. So yeah, if you got any questions, contact them. Yeah, We're happy okay. to help out. Thank you. All right, thanks. Thank you, Mila. Так, ну вот салон у них вот такой, шоурум. Говорят, что таких у них несколько. Внизу стоит Toyota Crown автобус. Представляете? Первый раз такой вижу. Ну и на улице машины вон там стоят. Говорят, что здесь раньше даже Rolls Royce стоял, его кто-то купил. Сейчас спустимся, посмотрим. Вот этот Crown Wellfire. Первый раз такую машину вижу. Никогда не знал, что у Crown еще и автобусы есть. Естественно, куча места. Телек, тут куча наворотов, куча кнопок. Новый Crown. Место как в сарае. Тут даже значочек крау. Вот такой вот королевский салон. Здоровенный экран. Панелька такая приятная. Вот как он выглядит снаружи. С передней части. 
Как вам такой аппарат? Напишите в комментариях. Мерседесы, автобусы. Порш вот даже стоит у них на экспорт. Поршей, кстати, очень много электро сейчас в Китае. Но здесь внутри что-то все иностранные машины в основном. Мерседес здоровенный просто. Капец там место, еще и подсветка неоновая. Не знаю, есть ли смысл такие машины возить вообще из Китая. Китайские тоже там стоят. Китайские на улице в основном. Сисон, which cars are most popular from this? Uh, Do you know? That one. That one? Bus? Uh, Black no, bus? No, no, no. That's the... Ah. Uh, Boya 3. This is next to bus, right? Yeah, the one next to bus. And that one as well. And that one? Yeah, which the, is blue, the right? Blue yeah, the blue one. Okay. Boya 3. Then we got a Honda. Mm -hmm. Electric car. Those are all electric car. But that's the Toyota is hybrid. Last time you showed me that mini bus, which is white. It's so big inside. Yeah, that's the ticker. I can drive it out if you want to feel it. Китайский какой-то Рубикон. 180 тысяч юаней, 21 год, 